What's going on guys, this is Jorge Yao back with another Clash of Clans video. Now today I wanted to go through a war that just finished against, uh, what is it, Det Rune Board, I don't, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but it was North 44 against Det Rune Board, it was an awesome war, we won 44 to 32, but I wanted to highlight some war attacks. Uh, in my War Raid series since I haven't really been uploading any videos to that series. I've only had one video so far. Uh, on a side note though, I am on my personal best right now at 5023 on my hashtag Yao Squad account. And the reason being is I won my last defense at 49% plus one cup. I'll highlight that in the next video uh, in my defenses loss and wins uh, series basically and I will show that video because it's a 49% it's a very very clutch win so you guys definitely want to stay tuned for that but let's go ahead and uh, look at some of the war attacks so let's view map um, let's see who I want to highlight let's see any three stars I wasn't able to participate in this war so none of our guys got three star which is nice um, that's always glad to see let's see if there's anyone on there and they got three starred Okay, cool. So we have one, two, we have four bases that actually got three star. That's incredible. So let's go ahead and see who did the what. Okay, so our little infamous YouTuber BJ Can Dive coming in clutch with a three star. Let's replay this and critique it real quick. Okay, so it's a Town Hall 9 base. So, and he's going with, uh, I think, Quattro Lava Loonian. So he has three Lava Hounds. Um, you know, standardized loons and minions, and I think he has a Lava Hound in the clan castle, I believe so. There you go, he's going with his Quattro Lava Loonian. He loves that strategy, it works pretty well actually. I think I've only seen him lose one attack with this strategy, so it works out pretty well. Um, so, let's go ahead and take a look. You know, he rages them up, he drops them from the bottom. He doesn't really have much to really fear, I mean, it's a, it's a Town Hall 9, so... You don't, you know, without Inferno Towers, there's really not much to fear, and those Expos don't really do much damage. So this is a pretty much rinse base, like from the get go. So not much to see here. I mean, like this base, pretty easy. Doesn't really even need much effort. Like, you know, you just basically spray and pray, and you drop your, uh, drop your rages and your freezes. Freezes don't even really matter too much. Like his heroes aren't even that hurt really. Still has loons left. I mean, they're just doing work. Like. Basically nothing. Easy, easy peasy. So let's just fast forward this um, and go on to the next one. So, so that's a good one for BJ can dive. He he won. He uh, three starred the number twenty player. Let's go ahead against the. Oh, so this is BJ can dive as well. So let's see. Is it a town all nine? Probably. Again, another town all nine. So we can fast forward this a little bit. Weird base though. So I think this guy was going for an anti three star base, even though he got three starred by us. But I think, uh, you know, any Town Hall 9, though, you're going to get 3 star by a Town Hall 10. I mean, just honestly speaking. But in this one, you can see BJ actually didn't go with a Lava Loonian deck because he went for a Golem. He went for a Go Wee Wee. So he went for, let's see, 3, 4, that's 4 Golems, probably 1 in the CC, so 5 Golems, 5 Witches, 15 Wizards, and 3 Rage and 2 Freeze. So that's interesting that he goes with 3 Rage and 2 Freeze. Uh, he doesn't think that he needs the Jump Spell, which I guess in this layout... You don't really need the jump spell because, um, to be honest, the only thing that's left uh, once you take out all the outer buildings is the core, and it's really just the town hall and the two expos, really. So let's go ahead and look at it, see how he attacks. So it's twice the speed, you know, basically the witches do a lot of work on this, uh, wizards, you know, golems, so not too much to really commentate on this base, really, or this attack. I mean, um, this base is, you know, it's kind of unfair, uh, to be honest, um, even the Tesla's aren't max, I mean, he uses the free spell, you know, he has only used one free spell, okay, now the second one, and the rage spell, so, and he's got plenty of troops, the queen's not even touched yet, so, and the king's just basically just plowing through the middle core without getting really hurt that much either, and he's got two wizards or three wizards with him, so, Super, super easy three star. Super easy three star. Um, I'm sure BJ probably commentated on this uh, attack too on his YouTube channel. So uh, be sure to check that out if he hasn't. Uh, if he has, excuse me. But uh, still a good attack by BJ. So let's move on. I think this was a Town Hall 10 by Shogun. So let's see the other three star too. Okay, so they're both made by Shogun. So Shogun's notorious for doing queen walks. So this, these are the attacks that I kind of really wanted to highlight because. Uh, when I watched them, I was actually quite impressed with it. 
So Queen Walk, uh, if you guys don't know, I'll pause it real quick. So Queen Walk, the strategy behind that these days is with the new Queen AI, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Uh, you bring in basically a combination of uh, healers and you're, you basically use your queen and you walk her from one side of the base to the other side of the base trying to take out as much as you can with the queen and the uh, supporting cast of healers. So the goal is to try to take out I think two air defenses and I think the enemy queen I believe. And then you basically have a pretty easy shot at getting a three star cleanup with your uh, lava hounds and your loons basically. So uh, let's go ahead and see how he attacks this base. So it's a town all 10. Uh, walls are pretty crap, but you know that's that is what it is. So he starts from the top. So he has five healers. So usually I see around four healers. So five healers. He wants he goes for the five healers this time. He drops those wall breakers, which is interesting. So I'm thinking he drops those wall breakers so that her uh, the queen could go in there. But yep, there you go. So she can go in and she can take out probably the storages, the collector, and the enemy queen. So the uh, the enemy queen's kind of underpowered. Same with the enemy king. But everything else here seems like it's almost maxed out Town Hall 10, it, you know, minus the walls and maybe, you know, the two air defenses. But still a pretty good base, right? So, he drops his king at the bottom, trying to do some cleanup. And I, the reason I think he does that is to not only tease out the clan castle, but also so that when the queen uh, gets to that point, she doesn't wander anymore and she starts going towards the core. Uh, again, I'm not the best person to uh, commentate on a queen walk because... I, I personally suck at them, but uh, I've seen other players do it, and I've seen other, um, I think, uh, who does it the most? I think Pinworms does it on Twitch a lot, so I do see it quite often. It's a really cool attack. I really like it, um, but it really depends on the base layout and uh, knowing how to use it, basically. I've never seen the Queen Walk actually used in normal multiplayer battles. I've only seen it used in wars. Uh, and the reason being is, you know, it's a risky attack, and if you don't get it right, you do have um, very little margin of room to bail yourself out and actually get the one star. But in this case, he does a perfect job with it. Uh, perfect execution, you know, he still has his queen full health. You know, the king is not even touched, the enemy king is not even touched, and he gets the three star. So really cool battle, really cool raid. Uh, let's go ahead and check out his other queen walk. I bet you it's another queen walk, so let's take a look at that. Yep, so these are like anti 3 star bases, uh, again the, the king and the queen are a little bit under under leveled, but everything else kind of looks almost max in terms of the defenses, the uh, except, you know, min minus the walls, but basically the expos, the inferno towers, uh, mortars, air defenses, so I think he picks off some stuff uh, at the bottom, I don't know what, what the theory is behind that, but he, same, same strategy, queen's walking, um, and she's got the five healers behind her, Healing her up, um, and she's not taking much damage. Look, the healers basic, the healers are doing work on her, so the queen is getting hit a lot, but uh, she's gaining most of her health back. And once he pops her ability, she's pretty much gonna gain back to full health. Uh, so sh that downtime that she has right now, look, she's almost at full health again. Um, she takes out the enemy queen, no problem whatsoever. And that downtime that she has when she's actually walking. Those healers are doing a lot of work uh, for that queen, so let's fast forward this a little bit. Um, so she takes out basically this entire right side of the base. No air defenses though yet, uh, so she hasn't taken out any air defenses yet. I think that may, may have been something that may have been, may have been miscued or I don't know, but you know, he drops those wall breakers in this area so the queen wanders in. He drops the king in there, so he does take out the one air defense, teases out the uh, the clan castle, so that's a good move. And then he goes in with the lava hounds and the freeze and the rages. So uh, even though there's only three, that's pretty cool. That's really cool though. But you know, three star nonetheless. Awesome, awesome, awesome raid. Uh, again, you know, props to Shogun for two three stars on two town all tens. Uh, and yeah, that does it for this video. So uh, again, if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Jorge Yao out. Peace out, guys.